E10012 Communicative English 1 Our oral presentation Our lecture name is Madam Kunavati Botaguru Good morning Madam My name is Nur Farisha Elina Binti Jamaluddin My number matri is 01-DAT-20-F1019 My partner's name is Nur Shafiza Binti Jamaluddin Her number matri is 01-DAT-20-F1019 20 f 1033 My dear fellow friends, have you ever made an online shopping? Do you know that online shopping is the more easiest by the tradition shopping? Do you know there are many advantages and disadvantages about online shopping? Well, today we are going to talk about advantages and disadvantages about online shopping. What is online shopping? Online shopping is a form of electronic commerce which allows consumers to directly buy goods or services from seller over the internet using a web browser. Consumers can find a product of interest by visiting the website of the retailer directly or by searching among alternative vendors using a shopping search engine. By now, consumers can shop online using smartphones, tablets, and other from the online shop application such as Shopee and Lazada. Dear friends, my first point, the advantages about online shopping is convenience. Convenience is the biggest perk today. Where else can you comfortably shop at midnight while in your pyjamas? No right, but online shopping gives you the pleasure of shopping at your favorite store in the comfort of your own household. There are no lines to wait in or cashiers to trade down to help you with your purchases. And you can do your shopping in the minutes. Moreover, the most important perk of online shopping is that there is no time limit as it is open 24 hours. For those who are busy with work, this is a convenience for them to buy their goods or service when they do not have time to go out to buy. For example, now online shopping is a way for us to avoid physical purchases and also can avoid contact payments. We can prevent the spread of COVID-19 epidemic in our country. I just talk about the advantages of online shopping as a convenience. We can use this convenience when we do not have time to go out, especially now during pandemic COVID-19. My dear friends, I shall now move on to my second point. My second point, that is better prices when you buy goods or services from online. You can get cheap deals and better prices when you order online. It is because products come to you direct from the manufacturers or seller without involving middlemen. Plus, it is easier to compare prices and find a better deal. Many online sites offer discounts points and rebate as well. The vast majority of online store offer prices that are much lower than what we will find at a physical store. Besides, not only are prices better, but we can save on tax as well, since online shops are only required to collect a sales tax if they have a physical location in your state. Factor in the safe expense of gas and parking you have saved. You also can save yourself a lot of money for the future or for emergency things. I just talk about the advantages of online shopping as a better prices. If you want to economize with online shopping, just do a little online research and look for special offers and coupons. Finally, my last point, online shopping do not give us pressure. Online shopping is hassle-free and free of pressure as well. Along with that, 
Online shopping is the best place to get your antique products because not most of the conventional shopping stores have the facility of providing them. Generally, in physical stores, the sales representative try to influence the buyers to buy the product. There can be some kind of pressure, whereas the customers are not pressurized in any way in online stores. Often time, when we are out shopping, we end up buying things that we don't really need. It's all because shopkeeper pressure us or use their selling skills to compel us to make these purchases. I just talk about the advantages of online shopping as no pressure. So, from that, we can shop calmly and we can buy goods according to our wanted without any pressure. That's all from me. Now, I call you upon Noor Shafiza binti Jamludin to continue with our presentation about the disadvantages of online shopping. Thank you, Noor Farisha Arena. Now, I'm seeking speakers to talk about disadvantages of online shopping. Not every online shopper is happy with their online shopping experience. You can say, half of them might face many problems while online shopping. First, if you do online shopping, you cannot return the product. But, many may be extra hard for you to return your product or get a refund. Many times, you can get reimbursed for any shipping cost, labeling, packaging, tracking, shipping, and filling out all the proper form is hazel you can avoid if you buy in a person. If you buy for a cosmetic and process, they can be written, such as lipstick, skin care, and clothes. So, before you buy something at online shopping, you must choose wisely, like make sure your size of clothes is true and the product is not fair and suitable for you. Let's move on at seat point. Seat point is the sad part of the online shopping. It is, you cannot touch the product and feel how it is. You can just see the image and read the description. Sometimes, the description will look attractive and interesting to buy it. But, when you buy it, the product is not same like the description and image of the product. So, this will make the consumer feel disappointed. Closing shopping can be very tricky online. Since they can try on the courses before you buy, there may also be small details that you can decide you don't like it in a product. They also not noticeable you until you have it in your hand. For make sure the product is good, you can check comment feedback from customer. From that, you can know the product is has quality or fit. My last point is the popular case now. It is fraud in online shopping or another word is scammer. Fraud in online shopping is the biggest disadvantage of online shopping. Many people are attracted by great offers which seem too good to be true. Fake online shopping portal displays some great product on the website and attract customers to buy it. Usually, website which sell fake product instead of the genuine article. Do not accept cash and delivery and request customer to make an online payment. But in the end, the customer will either receive the fake product or they will not receive the product at all. To summarize my last point, I will give some advice to avoid from fraud in online shopping. First, you must know the identity of the sellers. Second, always check the reviews. Third, the important is don't give too much about information. Search out your account number. My dear friends, today my partner has talked about what advantages of online shopping. She has discussed three key points that is better price, convenient, and no pressure. I have thought about these advantages of online shopping that is 
cannot touch the product, cannot return the product, and fraud in online shopping. Well, everything is come with some disadvantages as well. So, you must think wisely before do purchase in online shopping. Online shopping have many advantages and disadvantages. And, we all know that online shopping website becomes more popular of using than traditional shopping. Overall, before we want to do online shopping, we need to keep our safety from cheated by scammer. So, we must do online shopping with carefully. My dear friends, let me end our speech by some quotes. Stay home and shop online. You are too pretty to look for a parking spot. If you have a question, we will happy to answer any question. You can contact at this number if you have some question. Once again, thank you for bringing such a wonderful audience. It has been a great honor and pleasure for us to be here today. Thank you.